can I talk about something that may not be something came to my mind and there are times when I guess random pieces of information come to my mind and it is about pedophilia now I think with most people who are pedophiles I think much of them don't really want to be that way. And you may say, why do you think that? I think there are some people who want to be that way, but I think most people don't want to be that way. When it comes down to sin, I think it is difficult to say on a scale one through 10, let's say one as being the least and 10 as being the most. I think it is hard to say that, hey, I want to stay at a level four in the area of perversion. So when it comes down to perversion, let me stay at a level four. When it comes down to sin, I think it is really, really difficult to limit yourself at a certain level if you willfully engage in it. So I believe as you engage in it willfully, I think the more you are going to grow in it. So let's say you are in pornography now. Let's say you started, let's say where you are at now, and I don't know if they still have it. Let's say you look at pornographic magazines. From there, it may grow to soft, pornography to where it's not really showing everything but showing certain things then from there you may grow into something more from my experiences and from my limited understanding the more you engage in sin I believe the deeper you are going to go. So at one point of time, you may have been on a lower level in the area of perversion. Now you are probably somewhere so far from where you started. Okay, when it comes down to some pedophiles, you know, some people may have been raped by family members, you know, and other stuff. I am not saying they were right for what they did. But, but probably the thing that happened, 
let me say it in this way. I think demons can influence people to do things they don't want to do. Yes, that person may have opened the door. How can I say this? Someone may have opened the door for a perversion. But that same person probably did not intend to go really deep in the area of perversion. So maybe that person wanted to stay at a level two in the area of perversion, but because of that person's constant, uh, constant activity in it, I guess, that person has gone deeper and deeper in perversion. So, you may have been raped and whatever by certain family members, maybe your cousin or whatever. I think for most people, they don't want to be that way. Um, every so often, sometimes I get contacted by people who are on drugs, had been on drugs, and stuff like that. Now, Maybe in the beginning, those people or a particular person may have not been really addicted to a certain drug. But what? Perhaps that person kept on doing it and doing it and doing it now that person is really addicted and probably that person is doing a drug that is stronger okay there may be people that opened the door for perversion but did not want to go really deep in it but because of their constant activity in perversion, I guess I can say, now they are somewhere they don't want to be. So even if they don't want to mess with kids, I guess it's like something that is pushing them to do it. So if you were a child or a child now, well, if you were a child and you got touched on in the wrong way or raped or whatever, yes, it is not good, but Don't really blame that person. Yes, it is that person's fault, but I think it is demons that were controlling that person to be that way toward you. Do you understand what I am trying to tell you? Okay. 
you may engage in a sin now. You may have a very filthy mouth. Now, did you start in the beginning with that type of language? I don't think so. I think it grew as you participated in it, right? Okay. You may have very severe anger. Okay. In the beginning, was your anger the way it is now? In, in the beginning, I don't think so. I think it grew as you, I guess I can say, participated. I believe it grew as you gave in to your anger. Hey, you may be a very bitter person right now. The level of bitterness you have in you now, did you have that in the beginning? I don't think so. So the more you engage in a certain sin, you may go further in it than what you really wanted to. Did I say that right? I believe the more you engage in a certain sin, you may go further in it than what you want it to go. So, if you were messed around with in a bad way when you were a child, forgive those people or person. They may be or may have been in, in spiritual bondage. Now, the way you are now, are you doing everything right? Are you treating everyone right? Do you say everything right and behave in the best manner? If not, look now, I believe we all should want to go to heaven, right? Okay, I think we all want God to show us mercy and allowing us to go to heaven. So if you want God to show you mercy, shouldn't you be merciful to other people? Yes, that person did me wrong did this or that to me when I was a child, but I forgive you. I want God to forgive me, so I should be willing to forgive others, right? I pray to God so much and I ask God for things <laughs> so much as well. So if I am that way to God, shouldn't I be, I guess, somewhat merciful to other people as well? Like how can I even ask God for anything if I want to be selfish and hateful and bitter and treat other people like trash. I can't be that way. So please think about this. Let me stop here. God bless you.